so nervous about this. Let's see how this goes. All right, let's do this thing. Car versus chain mail, starting in. There we go, there we go. Come on, baby. Oh, baby! Oh, shoot! Hey, welcome here, everybody. We are back, and this is the ultimate testing of the chain mail. If you haven't seen it, we built the chain mail, huge chain mail. Then we made this huge arrow, air cannon thing, fired that, then the bowling ball, and today, today is all about taking this car, fast as we can get it, straight into the chain mail, give it the ultimate test to see what happens. Here we go. So, it's not actually as simple as you would think. Just take a car, drive it into the chain mail. There's a couple things we gotta take care of. The first one is, we gotta get the accelerator matted to the floor. So, brick, that'll solve the problem. Brick on the accelerator, that'll work. Unfortunately, not all of the problems can be solved as simple as that. So we gotta figure out a way to keep this car going dead straight with nobody in it because we don't wanna miss the chain mail. That would suck the big one. So, let's figure that out. So what we've decided to try to do we're gonna make up a type of rail or track for the car to shoot down. So these pieces here, and then the wheel will fit just inside, and then we're gonna weld them all together. It's kinda of like the orange Hot Wheel tracks I used to play with as a kid, except this is for real life cars. Okay, this is the first one. We've got two more of these links to bring in. Lined up with the chain mail. Okay, I gotta get the car. Let's see how this feels. that? You know, if I wreck this car, we're going to be in trouble because then we can't wreck it. For real. I don't think any car should sound like that ever. gonna work. I think it's gonna be fine. Okay, so I've been thinking about this a couple different ways and this is the best way that I've figured out how to do it. I actually went and bought something brand new, blew the budget. This is a wireless start and shut off for the car. So I figured that's the safest way because we can be out of the car, start it, let it go, and then right before it hits the chain mail, we can cut the car off, which is safest. And then if something happens, can always kill the car. So we're gonna quickly install that, see how hopefully this works. I'm not too good with wires, but cross the fingers. Here we go. So we just got this thing wired in. Looks a little bit gnarly, but I only used a couple wires. So theoretically, I hit this button, this thing should start. Make sure it's in neutral. Okay, hands free. Wait for it. Oh yeah. Um, what's going on here? Houston, we've got a problem. Okay. Piece of duct tape. Hang on. Oh. Theoretically, hit this button, this car should start. Wait for it. Oh yeah. Does it turn off now? Oh yeah, we're in business. All right, hands free. See you later. Whoa. Whoa, yep, I got this. Okay, so we're pretty much ready to go. This is the spot in the track that I'm most worried about because the car is gonna be picking up some pretty good speed. And then if it pops out here, we got a propane tank over there. We got the shop over here, other stuff. 
I'm not too worried about this side because, well actually no, this side could be bad as well. So we really don't want to see this thing pop out. So yeah, this should be interesting. Tracks ready, chain mail's ready, car's ready. Let's go get this thing and line it up. put these fence posts right here, driven them really deep to keep the A-frame from sliding back. Hopefully that'll help and then we got these logs back here if the car goes through, make sure it shuts down so we don't have a runaway car. And also we'll be able to kill it, hopefully with the wireless remote. This is the car, this is the chain mail. I honestly do not know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be really interesting, will the car go straight in and stop? Will a chain mail whip up over top and car goes through? Will the A-frame move? I'm gonna go with the vote that the, cha the car is gonna get stopped by the chain mail because front tires are gonna get up on this. It's just gonna cage it, it's gonna stop. I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Okay, give me the camera. Okay, Martin, what do you think's gonna happen here? It says it's going through. Okay. Just like right through, the chainmail goes over the top? Yeah. All right, solid. Turns off some stuff. Okay, Jeff, what do you think is gonna happen here? Yeah, it's a small four-door sedan, four banger, against how many pounds of chainmail? Uh, 1,600. I don't think it's gonna go through. I think it's gonna get stuck in the grass at the end and just spin out. I don't think it's going through. What do you think is gonna happen? Oh man, I don't think the car is gonna make it. <laughs> I think she's gonna stop solid. So, what do you think's gonna happen? In the comments right now, stop the video. Is the car gonna go through? Is it gonna get stopped by the chain mail? Let me know and then continue to watch and let's find out. Let's do this thing. Okay, here we go, this is it. Guys, that was insane. It jumped the log, it tipped the A-frame, hit a tree in the back, and the car was still running. <gasps> that was not what was supposed to happen. This did not work. The fob did not work. <sighs> oh man, I'm so glad we were all ready for that. <laughs> Dude. Dude, guys. Okay, I was 100% wrong. <laughs> Oh. And I don't think my forerunner could have got over those logs. <laughs> Hokey dino. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, this is tipped. The A-frame is flat out done. Totally got annihilated. I don't even know how that flipped. Hit this log. 
just launched. Look at this, guys. It jumped from here, nosedived here. Look at that scoop. And we're on the neighbor's property. Took off running like crazy. Did you ever think that was gonna happen? Uh, totally wrong. I, I, my guesses were wrong, but that was awesome. <laughs> How does that car still run after that? Can you go backwards? No, the axles popped out. The chainmail things, you can see it where it where it totally like scratched across. Look at that. Some of the axle right here, Tim. Oh. That's get that back go. in, we can get it going again, but oh, I think the whole the, the wheel sits really far back here. Wow. <laughs> oh man, guys, if this tree wasn't here, look where that would have gone. It would have literally gone through the neighbor's yard into the other neighbor's yard and completely hit their shed. Wow. There's a lot of things that could have happened in that short period. How did it not stop? How? I was hitting buttons. I was hitting the button. <laughs> oh my goodness. How did the airbag not go off? I think if it would have jumped out of the tracks, oh. the barricades would have done zero. We would have like terrorized the neighborhood. <laughs> Random car just All right, like, around. can you imagine that hitting their house? All right, let's get this thing out of here before they get home. But yeah, they're they're never gonna notice. <laughs> they're never gonna. Okay, look, we'll just get some paint bark. Yeah, and we'll just paint, paint bark. bark it back on. Nobody will see that. I don't think there's a round two. Okay, that's what I was just gonna say. Okay, <laughs> let's gather around here. There is no round two. Okay, so who, who won, the car or the chain mail? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. What we saw on the replay was when the car hit the chain mail, the weight of the chain mail picked the front of the car up. Oh! So it's doing a wheelie like this. Are you so serious? So by the time it gets to over here. Are you serious? Here, the wheel comes and hits here. Are you serious? It bounces up just enough to get the front That's wheel over the first That's how it did log. it. And then it's off. Like I was standing way back there and I just see the chain mail tip and I'm like, oh man, that's bad and the logs got it. And then the car just hops like this over the logs and I'm like, please stop, please stop. And the whole time I'm hitting the fob but it does not stop at all. Oh my goodness. Oh, it, didn't see the bounce. does it even hit the back of the trunk? It totally missed it. Oh, that's insane. Who would have ever thought that would have happened? The one fence post is still, it still caught it. But this one, it completely sheared off. Oh, I almost flipped over, right over heel. Oh man, oh man. We probably should have tied that end down to the bottom of the frame so that the car couldn't get under it because it was basically a ramp. But that was the idea of the chain mail though. Was that you, you'd think it would be like heavy enough to hold it. Like, cause if you're mounting it to the ground, yeah. there's no, like, it's not gonna break the links. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, guys, what a ride that was been. I thought we were gonna maybe get another shot out of it, but after that, I'm calling her quits here. I don't know who won. You guys decide car or chain mail. And I think it's time for us to uh, close this series off, or at least for now and get back to the shop, a little bit more of our normal stuff. But thank you so much for watching. What a ride this has been. Uh, please like it and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And uh, we'll look forward to getting back to some normal content. I'm not sure what that is, but we will see you in the next video.